Ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha. For a while now, I've been producing videos in regards to the larger world of the AAA gaming industry, and as such, the never-ending stream of sewage that flows out of the Steam Direct system has been left alone for apparently far too long. It's been a while since Andrew Watt, Ata Burdiev, and Silicon Echo were all given the boot from Steam due to their asset flips, deplorable behavior, and their willingness to dupe consumers out of their hard-earned money while directly stealing visibility from game developers who wanted nothing more than to sell you a game that they worked hard to make. So again, in partnership with the Sentinels of the Store, I'm circling back to where I've been able to do the most good, and that is in calling out fake games and their pathetic peddlers. And I decided that my first one was not going to be someone just starting out, but an asset flipper of the worst kind, the sort that have already been at this for a while. I bring to you today Dexion Games. These enterprising little asset flippers have industriously copy-pasted Unity Store asset packages onto the Steam storefront a total of 29 times since September of 2017. Thankfully, due to the extreme laziness and absolute lack of effort on the part of Dexion Games, finding the Unity Store asset packages that these quote-unquote games were copy-pasted from only took a matter of seconds. In the case of some of these games, a simple Google image search showed the relevant Unity Store assets. Now, I won't waste your time by going through every last one of them, as 29 is a painful number to go through, but I think I can hammer home my point by listing a few of them. How does 7 sound? Completely random, I know, but hey, 10 felt too top 10-ish, and 5 was not enough, so 7. Yeah, 7 works. The first up is Retro Dungeons, an exceptionally terrible and basic dungeon crawler where the enemies don't hurt you and the music is on a maddening 10-second loop. This particularly distasteful offering is in reality Dungeon Crawler Starter Kit, a $5 Unity Store complete package by Dream Risk. Next on our list is Jump Stop, in all caps, because apparently we're supposed to yell the name or something. It is a basic, endless platformer that, for some reason, claims a cyberpunk aesthetic, showing a complete lack of both effort and understanding of what cyberpunk even is. This asset flip is actually Cube Jump Complete Project, a $4.90 package on the Unity storefront by Lovato Studio. The next one on our list is actually probably the most interesting asset flip I've ever seen. This one is called Game of Life, and it is a zero-player game that states in the store pages about section the British mathematician John Horton Conway created in 1970 something he called Game of Life, or just life as you want. The game is a zero-player game. The aim of the game is to choose an initial state and observe how it evolves, different sizes for the map, and truly infinite possibilities. Of course, misspelling truly and possibilities, because honestly, who could be bothered to spell check when selling a product on a professional storefront to a potential audience of millions of people? This is an asset flip of the Unity Store package Game of Life by Levi Moore, because Dexion Games also couldn't be bothered to even change the title of the game in this instance, because why would they? This package costs a whopping $5 on the Unity Storefront. Next is the title I Want Cookies, which is your basic cookie clicker game where you just sit there and, well, do your best to shorten the lifespan of your mouse as rapidly as humanly possible. This is an asset flip in the Unity Store package Clicker Game Example, which will set any enterprising young fake game peddler back a whopping $2.50 and was originally created by some PAX team. Moving on to the next one, we have Business Clicker, another mouse-destroying game that requires very little interaction outside of the dogged pursuit of Carpal Tunnel. This is an asset flip of the Unity package Idle Clicker Business Tycoon Simulation by First Class Game Studios. This particular package put a titanic $15 dent in Dexion Games' wallet if they actually paid for it. And of course, no asset flippers library would be complete without a knockoff of a Space Invaders knockoff, and Dexion Games filled that role nicely with 8-bit Invasion. This is, of course, an asset flip of the $20 Unity package Invasion 8-bit 3D arcade shooter by M1 Interactive. And last on the list that we're going to bother covering is Strange Things, an indie game so completely based on completing runs that they just had to use two O's in the word on in the description. And again, Dexion Games, being so completely lazy as they are, decided to not even bother changing the name of the asset flip that they're trying to pass off as their own work. Strange Things 2D Template is a $10 Unity Store asset package by Dennis Arkhipov. 
And I could honestly keep going as each and every single one of the 29 titles released by Dexion Games is an asset flip with no exception whatsoever. And if Valve thought that their pathetically small $100 recoupable barrier to entry would have any effect whatsoever, they need only look at the titanic number of asset flippers that have shoveled their crap through the Steam Direct open hatch since its inception, Dexion Games now included. This sort of thing is completely maddening, and I apologize to the entirety of the gaming community for focusing on the AAA industry so exclusively for such a long period of time and not doing my best to drag more asset flippers like Dexion Games into the light. And considering it would seem that due to Valve's own actions with the laughable implementation of Steam Direct that Steam very well could be lost forever if this keeps going. The tide of, as they call them, fake games and bad actors will continue to rise unabated if Valve doesn't take a stronger stance against the sludge clogging their pipes. As such, I will be sending an email to Valve directly and anyone who would wish to follow suit will not be discouraged. My email that I'll be sending to Valve will read as follows. Dear person who is a Valve employee, I am a YouTuber who goes by said Alpha. Due to the controversies surrounding Silicon Echo, BC Interactive, and several other bad actors that I helped drag into the light, I think it at least possible that you might have heard of me. I have been a gamer for over 30 years now, and I've been a YouTuber since 2015. Given the titanic amount of fake games and bad actors that continue to grow and multiply on the Steam storefront, I myself, along with countless other online influencers, including the respected group Sentinels of the Store, have continued to do our best to educate and inform our viewers and your customers about these fake games and the extreme amount of damage they do to legitimate indie developers and the gamers that love finding new smaller titles to enjoy. I know that Valve has a vested interest in not allowing these fake games to take over its storefront as it can and has begun pushing Valve's customers to its competitor sites. As a gamer and as a person who respects what Valve has accomplished and the market power that Valve still maintains, I feel it is in the best interest of both myself and my viewers to do what I can to make certain that doesn't happen. To that end, I am sending you this email and I am requesting my viewers send similar messages in the hopes of opening up a line of dialogue and discourse to discuss the plague that these fake games have become and what can be done to stop them. I know that Valve has been hesitant to take drastic steps in the past due to its desire to not adversely affect legitimate developers, however I think we can all agree that the current measures are wholly and completely insufficient to the task at hand. I would request to speak directly with a representative of Valve to discuss additional measures from the basis of a community perspective, and I hope that Valve will take the offer to heart and respond in kind. I would be willing to engage any discussion in whichever way you would wish, whether it be via continued email, Skype, Discord, or face-to-face. -face. My sole desire in this is to make sure that Valve, real games developers, and gamers alike no longer have to suffer the predations of these fake game peddlers. And as I said, if anyone else wishes to ask Valve to speak with me, I will post a link to Valve's contact page in the description of this video. I even took the liberty to write a little draft email that you can use as a base in whole or in part should you so choose. Now that reads, to whom it may concern. The YouTuber Sid Alpha is attempting to contact Valve in order to open up a dialogue in regards to the fake games that infest the Steam storefront in ever-increasing numbers. As a customer of Valve and a gamer with standards, I hope you avail yourself of this opportunity to work with him in coming up with ways to clean up the Steam storefront and to make it a better platform for both gamers and game developers alike. Thank you in advance for showing your willingness to listen to your customers in this regard and emailing SidAlpha at SidAlpha.com. Sincerely, a gamer that cares. I know normally I tend to avoid the concept of weaponizing you all because there is always the possibility that I might have gotten something wrong, but in this instance, there is no one to attack. Still, if you do choose to avail yourself of the contact email, I would urge you to be respectful, as vitriolic emails will do far more harm to any cause than it does good. My intentions are to do what I can to create an open discourse, and anyone spreading hateful messages will only harm that attempt. I doubt we'll see anything come from this, but, you know, you never know until you try. Now that said, please do let me know what you think down in the comments below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time. If you like what I do on this channel and would like to see the channel go full time, consider donating on Patreon or PayPal, as well as hitting that subscribe button and following me on social media. Links to everything are in the description down below.